Hi everyone, it's Arthur here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube and ArthurEaseYourMind.com. I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. And as always, thank you for the love and support that you show my channel. With the likes, the shares, the comments, the current subscribers, and oh yes, the new subscribers. And if you're not subscribed yet, come on, you can do it. I'm trying to get to 10,000 by the end of the year without creating fake accounts. So help. Also, we started memberships. And if you want to know what that's about, hit the join button. It'll take you to a little cartoon, which talks about the benefits of our membership program. Okay. So all that being said and done, I'm sorry. That's right. You heard me. I'm sorry. I've often said me trying to get up a solo show on YouTube has more delays than a Trump trial. And that's kind of what's been going on here. No excuses, but I did speak to my astrologer recently, and I don't know about you, but I feel like I've been going through murky retrograde these last couple of weeks. She was telling me about Pluto and Neptune and the solar flares, whatever. Better stop soon. So I did actually record a couple of shows, but you know that expression, choosing mothers choose Jeff? Well, I choose not to use these because they were flat. They were boring. They weren't me. And yeah, I would have lost about 30,000 subscribers. Not that I have them. But anyway, but I do want to apologize for the delay. And also, it's like I did get a comment from Opti Student one I do wish when you ask for questions that you would at least tell us what day you will post. Just a heads up would be nice. Yeah, it would be, wouldn't it? I'm sorry. Actually, I used to do that, but then I used to screw everything up. So I decided not to say what date it was. And then all got lost in the sauce. So anyway, I promise as we get into June, there's more consistency coming up for me. Okay? You guys see a lot more of me. For better or worse. Now, that's out of the way. Something went down this week, which the gods spoke the gods actually spoke when Marjorie Taylor Green was described as bleach, blonde, bit, bad build, butch body. That's right. Talk about alliteration. Bleach, blonde, bad build, butch body. Thank you, Jasmine Crockett. In fact, I wrote her office to see if she would be on my show. Probably never hear anything, but if anybody knows her, please. She's brilliant. Apparently, MTG, my tragic girlfriend, made comments about her fake, saying she had fake um, eyelashes and couldn't read something properly. And it went down here, downhill from there. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of like, remember in Dynasty when they had the cat fights? Anyway. So, lots going on in New York with a thing called a trial. Michael Cohen's being processed examined by the everybody and everybody making comments about michael cohen here michael cohen there well guess what michael cohen's gonna win this for new york trump's guilty every time i look at this the guys always tell me guilty so um and it's gonna end soon what i kept on feeling is they may end the trial by wednesday thursday it goes and it goes to the jury and what my guides are telling me, by the end of next week, we had a verdict. And it's a guilty. Not a hung jury. It's guilty. So, of course, he will appeal. Of course, he will cry and whine and act like the 77-year-old man that he is. Just kidding. I love when Biden said that he's running for president against a six-year-old. Just saying. Anyway. So, Josephine was asking, most of the loyal Trumpers were at the New York City courthouse to show their support and become Trump's mouthpiece, working around Trump's gag order. Will this sh stunt have any repercussions against Trump? Actually, it will. My guys were saying they knew exactly what they were doing. The thing they were working around the gag order, they they didn't work around it. It is shown basically that Trump told these people what to say. So I'm saying in three to four weeks, something's going to be 
coming forward. I don't know if it's from the judge. I don't know what it's from, but three to four weeks, some people get in trouble. Okay. So, and also Veronica asked regarding the congressmen finally showing up to the court for rump with an R. I wonder if they really think he is guilty of sin. Guilty of sin or not, they don't care. It's all about power. They care less. So it doesn't matter what they think. Well, first of all, the MAGA, that means they have to, well, MAGA, think, same sentence. Just saying. Anyway, but I do feel there's some people going to get in trouble. What Mike Johnson did, what they all did, they're getting, they're going to get in trouble for it. Okay, three, four weeks, people. Now, people are asking about the debate. What I feel is that Trump put out the bait about the debate, thinking that you know Biden would ignore it, and Biden said, "Okay, we'll do, it. let's do it. Come on, come on." Come on, let's do it. I think it freaked the F out of the orange menace. Thank God he wears a diaper. Um, and I'm going to say this name wrong, so bear with me. Jay Shifham. So Trump and Biden are going to debate in June. Will Trump make it to the debate? Love your reports. Keep them coming. I'm trying to. And then Butterfly asks, uh, Hi, are there two debates between Rump and President Biden? Again, with an R. At the end of June, what is going on? Wondering. Well, when I first saw this, I looked in, into it, and the guys were telling me it may not happen at the last minute. I'm not saying that's 100%, but they were saying it might not happen. In fact, right now, Trump is trying to put it out there that he wants Biden to have a drug test. Saying that Biden was high on cocaine when he gave his State of the Union message. How would he know what somebody on cocaine is like? Hmm. Um, I don't know. I thought Avril was his... Oh, never mind. Just saying. So anyway, I feel it's going to be a disaster. I mean, the way they're making Biden sound like some old fuddy-duddy crotchety person, if he shows up on stage, he wins. Trump, on the other hand, huffing and puffing, oof. all I can say is if there's one in June, I do not see one in September. Period. I barely see one in June. So I might be wrong, but let's see what happens. Um, and again, when I say these things, a lot of it's from my guide. It's not me making personal opinions because, you know, as I always say, every village has the idiot. You met him. Hi. It's my guys this speak. Okay. Fleck. Which will go first for Trump, his physical health or mental health? Thank you for looking forward to the solo show. Well, so am I. Physical health or mental health? Well, whatever goes, thank God this man's wearing a diaper. Um, Because I just feel they're all one and the same. I feel there's been a decline. Entertainment purposes only. I feel there hasn't been a decline mentally. And uh, when he's slurring his words and doesn't know where he is, Kind of scary. And they're going to give this guy the the codes? I don't think so. And then followed by CJ Feng Shui. Hello, dear Arthur. Is If 45 doesn't make it in the ticket for some reason, do you have any thoughts about who would take his place? You are such a bright light in our lives. No, I'm not a dull bulb. But anyway, thank you. Um... I've often said, I mean, I've been saying this for over a year and almost two years now that I felt Nikki Haley um, is the front runner for the Republicans. Now, it could be my liver backing up from the 70s. I don't know, but that's what I keep on getting. 
at the same time, she does have delegates. And just because Trump may pick somebody as a VP, that doesn't mean he that VP automatically becomes the front runner. At least I don't think so. Besides that, I don't know. He keeps on calling the lab, seeing the clones ready for the VP stat. You know, be his VP. So who knows? It's going to be fun. I just see this guy like rocking in the fetal position in the corner. That's all I'm going to say. Entertainment purposes only, at least mentally. Barb Mecca. Hi, Arthur. Will any of Trump's children ever write a book about him after he dies? Will they be honest in their assessment of him? Really? Well, I guess they can do it. I mean, I guess they could, they could, you know, team up with Crayola Crayon or something like that or Hasbro and come out with something. But will they be honest in their assessment? Yeah, they will. With their truth. With their truth. That, you know, Trump was born in a manger. And three men gave him frankincense, gold, and myrrh. And from there, he started his rise in politics. Again, that's their truth. Not ours. So I hope that answers your question. Crayola crayons. Um, Renice, hi Arthur. Question: Will Citizen Trump be indicted here in Arizona for the voter fraud scandal here in Arizona back in 2020 election? Thank you. Yes, I do get that. I do get a yes on that. I do. You can run, but you can't hide from these people. Just ask Rudy Giuliani. He finally got caught. Uh, in fact, Laura White being asked, what is going on with Giuliani? He's running for, from a subpoena. Well, all I keep on hearing is that song by Blondie. One way or another. You know, we're going to get you, get you, get you. Well, they got him. And the same thing will go with Mr. Trump. So, add another name to the list. Wow, this is going to be fun, isn't it? Nancy asks, glad you're doing your show. I need to catch up. Question, Arthur, will they ever dig deeper to find out what happened to Jeffrey Epstein and why Bill Barr was the last person to see him alive? Thank you. Nancy, I have to be honest on this. I don't think we'll ever know. Man committed suicide. Period. That's what they want us to believe. Um, Barry Levine, the guy that wrote the book Spiderweb, he felt it was suicide. Um, but as far as Bill Barr is concerned, I mean, him talk what he talking Jeffrey Epstein into committing suicide. Was he Hannibal Lecter talking to somebody and doing something they didn't want to do? I don't think so. But I always get Bill Barr's in trouble. He may try and like backpedal and try and say what he wants to say, but he's going to seem like a canary. And I forget who I said wrote the books, you know, The Art of the Squeal, but I think Bill Barr is going to have the sequel so that he would not get in trouble. But I do feel there's, tr he's in trouble. So anyway, Sandy. When is Mike Johnson out? When no one's looking. Just kidding. Entertainment purposes only. Um, what I've said, and I've said it many times, that once I saw his name, within 10 minutes, community board, he will be out by the end of May. There will be a whisper campaign against him at the end of January and February. I still feel May. If he's not out by May, everything leads to it. All right. Um, I could be wrong, but I've always said he's out. There's a placeholder for a couple months, and then in comes Hakeem Jeffries. Yay. So, when is Mike Johnson out of speakership, right? So, Julia. 
Any word on whether Democratic Congressman Henry, I don't know how to say his last name, Carell, and his wife. Now, he served, he's been serving 10 terms in the U.S. House of Representatives of Texas 28th District, which includes Laredo, Rio Grande City, and I have to read, and Santa, Santa Antonio. He supports equal opportunity for men and women all of all backgrounds. Now, he has been indicted in federal court and has seen two of his trusted advisors take plea agreements in exchange for te- testifying against him and his wife, Imelda. In spite of his legal challenges, however, the congressman is still firmly on track to be reelected in November. And I agree. Number one. Number two. I really feel... Like all the stuff they had against Biden. Whoa, all that stuff. Remember, they're going to impeach him, get him out. Oh, it all fell apart. Well, I'm not sure about Henry, but something's going to fall apart. Indictment or not, still see him winning. Okay. And when details emerge, some information, I believe, will dissipate. Now, Stargazer. Democratic Senator Bob Mendez of New Jersey is starting his trial on corruption charges. Will he will he put the blame on his wife who goes to trial later? What do you see as the outcome? Will Democrats lose the Senate seat? I don't see this Democrats losing the Senate seat. I see him, you know, going up the lazy river. And um he tries to blame his wife. It's not gonna work. Just just blame him too. But anyway, we'll wait for the made for TV movie. Okay. Now there is uh, some good news coming up this week talking about the Senate. The Senate will again vote on a bipartisan border package this week. That's right. Chuck Schumer is putting it on the floor again. And this way it's either stand up or shut up or sit down. In other words, he's going to really, skewer the republicans with this one and i really actually feel it may go through yay now ukraine so true a big question will ukraine win the war my cards are saying that they will win but the health of the nation will forever be changed showing exhaustion sad times well, it's like a mother giving birth, <laughs> rebirth. I mean, you know, I always said Ukraine wins. I feel in five years, it'll be a go-to place. I feel they will be part of NATO within 18 to 20 months. I mean, two years to 18 months. And... I'm not seeing the heavy shadow of the war on everyone. I feel they win. There's a sadness there that lives were lost and what happened happened, but they're victorious. Okay. Now I'm going to say this name wrong. I believe I know she is. Hannah. Hannah Schlegeredge. Schlegel. Hi, Arthur. A solo show is what I look forward to. Thank you. My question. When we see Putin, is he the real deal or is he a clone? Perhaps one of his lookalikes. And when Putin finally passes over, what will happen to his lookalikes? And remember, you mean the world to us. Uh, stay safe and healthy, please. Thank you. That's so sweet, even though I said your name wrong. Um, I've always said after April of this year, Putin starts going downhill. And I feel the people that are popping up, they're not clones. I mean, Trump has the clone for the VP. But what I see here is there are lookalikes. And it's very crafty. But I do feel his, this man... 
entertainment purposes only. I feel this man's days are numbered. So we'll just see. But what's going to happen to the lookalikes? Argentina, Finland, I don't know, Caracas. They're going to go away. I don't see them getting on airplanes and falling out, though. So I hope that answers your question. Because Putin, like I've always said, he's got that tri private little train. My favorite movie is The Orient Murder on the Orient Express with Lauren Bacall by Agatha Christie. Just saying. Wouldn't it be nice? Now, here's some great questions. Great question. 10 AC Girl. Looking forward to solo show. Thank you. I hope I'm doing a good job so far. My question is, within the next few years, do you see any new amendments to our Constitution or revisions to current amendments, i.e. legal abortion, revision to gun law, a stronger law on separation of church and state? Yes. Yes. And yes, and yes, and yes, and yes. There's going to be a lot of changes. They're going, you know, women will have their legal rights back again that this last court stripped away. They'll go into the Constitution and not and stay. Also, gun laws, yes, lots of changes to gun laws. Chep separation of church and state. It's a hard one, but yes. Mm -hmm. I just can't wait till someone gets a backbone and tries to tax someone like Joel Ornstein or someone like that. So, personal opinion on that one about Ornstein. That was not from the guides. That was me. But yeah, I do see a lot of changes for the better. Because what I also see is when we get into this new administration coming up with Biden in his second term is that empathy compassion that starts making its way into the world again right now it's hate division bigotry and it's always been there but i feel it's not going to be as prominent and compassion is going to take over also, I've been saying that we're going to a global shift anyway, so that's what this whole thing is about, to bring more compassion and empathy into the world. So, yay. Um, Lucind, hello, Arthur. Would you please read on the affordable connective, connectivity program, which affects millions of people? Funding ran out the end of April. The administration is urging Congress to get additional funding. A couple of legislators have sponsored a bill to do so. What do you see for this program? Thank you so much. I get something showing up in September when I look at this. Um, it will eventually be funded again. Okay, But something about September and October of things being pushed uh, for this, it may get put on hold, but believe me, when we get into 2025, it's funded. Okay, so that I will say, and that it comes up very, very, very strong. Now, a lot of people ask about weather, whether or not we're going to be here. Um, Amy Waring, hi, Arthur. Do you see any hurricanes this season that will affect the East Coast that would affect Pennsylvania? I actually got a yes on this. In fact, when I was a little kid, I lived outside Philadelphia and we had a hurricane. We lost four trees in that thing many years ago but uh, i do see and i also felt when i did a show with mel something about tornadoes in the harrisburg area so but i don't see loss of lives just loss of property and trees okay tea garden chicken 1780 love the name will the increasingly erratic weather cause more people to comprehend that climate change is real and work harder to find figure out ways to migrate climate change, mitigate climate change. Sorry. I would love to say yes to this, but you know, there are just some people 
And unfortunately, some of those people are lawmakers. And some of those lawmakers are getting paid by corporations and others. So eventually, yeah, it's for humanity's sake, not for your greed that this has to happen. I, whether we try to do something or not, climate change is here. We just have to do something about how we deal with it. But also with all the extreme weathers, unfortunately, extreme is becoming normal again. Is not the way to look at things. So I do feel some people will be waking up. Okay. And if I see one more ad for a generator, solar power generator, that's all I'm going to say. Uh, Soul Shine. Hello, Arthur. Awesome, Arthur. Hurricane season is about to start. Do you see any hurricanes making landfall in South Carolina? Actually, I don't know about South Carolina, but the Carolinas, I do. Um, but I feel, I don't feel lots of devastation. I just see lots of water. I feel it may be like off the coast, so it may not hit land, but it does the winds and the water. You got a bucket. Roslyn, uh, Canadian fires have already started up north. I live closer to the I'm going to say it wrong, so I just won't say it. Border. I was wondering if you see another wildfire in my area. Thank you. Your Canadian friend, Rosie. Hi, Rosie. Um, you're safe. I don't see fleeing. I don't see it be close, but I don't see fleeing or running for your life or anything of that nature. Um, maybe Marjorie Taylor Green can tell us where the lasers are coming from from space that are causing these fires. Just a little. Um, but all in all, I feel you're going to be safe. You have to be prepared, but I feel you're going to be safe. Okay. So something, some other things I wanted to bring up for the last couple of weeks, I've been getting people asking me questions regarding what other advisors are reading. And they're asking me to make my comment compared to the other person, or why would the other person say this? Those questions I don't answer. Uh, it's not fair to me. It's not fair to the other advisor. If you want to know about a subject, um, don't tell me what the other person said. Just ask the question, and I'll give you my honest opinion if I have an answer for you. Okay? So please. Well, so-and-so said this. What do you think? And so-and-so said that. What are you taking on it? And why did so-and-so say? No. I'm not going to do that. Okay? Just putting it out there. So, kind of as we, you know, as we're wrapping up here, I want to recap about what's going on. Now, the other day I was talking to a friend and I was very shocked when she said she hated Joe Biden. I said, why? So I hate him. I said, so you're going to vote for Trump? I don't know, but I hate Biden. I wasn't going to sit there and try and change her mind. All I can do is set up the most benevolent outcome that she gets it right. So what I'm saying to all of you is I may be saying all these predictions about the election until I'm blue in the face. Blue being the appropriate word. Um, that an orange. But it's up to all of us to stand up and vote. I can say this is the prediction, but we have to make it happen. And so I say many times, vote, vote, vote. Well, I mean it, because our lives depend on it. I was shocked when I heard what my friend said. And apparently members in her family are feeling the same way, very apathetic. But like Sherry, Voices of the Swamp pointed out, you're apathetic about voting, look what you get. And the women get all their rights taken away from them in Louisiana. So don't look at the polls. 
I don't know where the emotions are coming from. I don't. I mean, it's okay. You have to be aware of what's out there. But don't start running around like Chicken Little. Or even more Chicken Without a Head. At the same... Because it's like an acorn. But at the same time, what's getting me is how... What they call legacy news is normalizing things that 10 years ago would be abnormal and then try to make this all seem like it's wonderful. They're normalizing actions and statements that in any civilized society, it's not normal. So this is just me speaking, especially in these uncertain times like these. It's fascinating to think about how a different perspective can sometimes change the way we see the world around us. But it's also fascinating as a psychic to see what the world can be if we create it. Okay. So you know me, you know me about my gratitude. Yes, say thank you for all. Please send out the love like white light purple light green light to all the nooks and crannies of the world and as i always say don't get mad at magas if the reincarnation remember that's the upgrade so send lots of love and light to them too and you know send them light till they get it right that's why i look at it all right so before we go don't forget to like subscribe and comment on your questions in the future. Let me say this again. I actually wrote this down, so I wouldn't say it wrong. I did. Before we go, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment with your own questions for future psychic prediction videos. Okay? Your input is valuable to me and to all of us in this community, and I can't wait to hear what you're curious to hear about. So let's keep the conversation going and explore the realm of the psychic predictions together. So thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you in the next video. And as I always say, thank you for stopping by. Thank you for being here. Take care of you. Take care of others. Have fun. And among all, stay amazing. Thank you, everyone. I'll be back sooner than you think. Bye-bye.